So today, look at that pigeon. So it's not a pigeon, it's a seagull fucking pigeon. Look, where's it going? Well, it's flying through everything. It's a ghost seagull. Wow. Anyway, I'm playing Grand Theft Auto in glorious virtual reality on my Quest headset. And I'm using Luke, Ro uh, Luke Ross's mod, which he has stopped supporting. This was always free, this one. It was never part of his patronage. And if you want to play a, sh a hell of a lot more games, I'm going to say a shitload of other games in virtual reality, then all you have to do is join his at patronage, which I have done. I'll leave a link. He's got some really good titles there. You don't have to join to have a look at, at what kind of titles that he's got, so I'm not going to tell you. Just nip over there and have a look. And if you want to play them, then you just give him some money. But this is free. But the problem with this is that because of the updates that Rockstar keeps throwing at it, it keeps breaking. For instance, if you get into a vehicle, when you get out of it, you lose the ability to do this. Turn left and right with your with your thumb uh, controller there, your, your right thumb control. You can't do that. Not unless you go into third person first. You also lose the ability to uh, aim with your head with your guns. Look, you can aim. See, there's a little dot. I'm using a mod, so I've got explosive bullets. Look, isn't that brilliant? But you lose that ability. You can't do that unless you die. But if you get into a vehicle and get out of it again, you'll lose that ability again. So that's shit, isn't it? We don't want any of that. And also, flying helicopters is a bit weird. Oh. Don't get on top of it, Michael. Get inside. So what I'm going to show you today... It's not weird now, because it works. Because what happens is that the helicopter moves, but you don't. So, for instance, when you dip the helicopter... This is in the broken version. When you do that, your head stays facing that way, and the, the roof gets in the way. You can't see where you're going. Anyway, this isn't a gameplay video. This is a tutorial video. Well, it's an how-to video, how to fix it, and the way you fix it is by rolling back the game. Now, I'm going to leave the link in the description to the mod and to the files that you need to roll back the game. And in a minute, I'm going to show you exactly how to install the, the files and how to install the mod. Now, you remember that... I'll show you. I'll show you everything. Go into settings and all, and uh, this... Disable head bobbing, otherwise you'll find this an extremely unpleasant experience. Let's get out of here now. And look. I'm still in virtual... I can still turn like that, and I'm still in virtuality and all. I'm still in first person as well. Look. That's because of the mod. I'll leave a link to that as well. Right. Let's do this. What do I do first? Oh yeah, this is what I do. Let's get out of the game. Do, 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 do. This has got to be one of the best experiences I've ever had in virtual reality. Now, there is a mod for, uh, what's the game called now? Oh yeah, Red Dead Redemption 2, which Luke Ross has also stopped supporting. We won't go into why. And I, I've found a way of getting that working as well. So I've got a video of that. And the link to the mod itself. Here we are. I shouldn't have done that. That was silly, Michael. Let's go back to my desktop. Any minute now. Here we are. Desktop. So what I want to do first, well, what you need to do first is this. Where's my mouse? It's easy with my mouse. Go to your game and right click on it and you'll open this little box up. Scroll down to uh, do that again. Hmm. It's not having it with that, is it? I'm trying to use my mouse. Where's my controller? There. Scroll down to manage and then go over to browse local files. And what you'll do, I'll close this. You'll open this folder up here. This one which is the game files. And all you have to do is then go to this descript the link in the description 
and download this file. And I'll show you what happens when you unpack this file. There's different ways of doing this. Extract here. Now you can extract it direct. You can extract the files directly into the game itself. But I prefer to drag. Uh, sorry, not drag. Drag and drop. I like dragging and dropping. Here they are. This is the first one you'll need. Which are the files you need to replace to roll back the game. And all you do, you don't need, the, there's a little description there of what to do. All you do is you copy the GTA 5, the GTA 5 language select, the GTA 5 launcher, and the play GTA 5 files here into here. Just drag and drop them. And then, these two update files here, you drag and drop into the update folder, which is there. And it replaces these two. Piece of piss, isn't it? Because once you've done that, you're good to go. All you have to do then is unpack this one, which is the GTA 5 VR mod. Let's just re I'll just delete that and get it out of the way. Extract these. And all you do is you take, not this, not the mod one or that one, but all these other files. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine files and three folders. Drag and drop a lot of them oh, into the game file, this. And then scroll down. And you scroll down to play GTA 5. This should be a readme file there. There might not be, but there will be real config. Double click on that. And then you can choose low, medium or high. I will always choose medium. Just click M. That will set your graphics settings. And then once you're in the game, you can go into settings and you can experiment with them. Because there's too many variables for me to start telling what settings you should use. You've got, everybody's got different setups. So that's for you to find out. All I'm doing is showing you how to play this wonderful game in, in VR. And to continue playing it in VR. Now also what you have to do is go into properties. And you see this little box here, use desktop game for you to, well, stream, stream VR is active. Untick that, you don't want that at all. Untick that, and if they do update it again, then just keep those files and rinse and repeat. It's very easy. There's also, see look, Cyberpunk, you can play that in VR. It's fantastic, that, but you'll have to join the patronage. Red Dead Redemption, it doesn't support that anymore, so I've got a video for that, like I've said. And there's a shit more other games that he's got that you might be interested in. That's it. I'm going now. Anyway, bye.